Hi everyone and welcome to another Fusion 360 challenge of the month. And now we are going to create this model. This one is for the month of June. Let's now put this baby into action. I'm going to press letter L for line. And now I am prompted to select a plane or planar face. I'm going to select this plane. Left click. Now we are prompted to drop our first point. I'm going to drop it at our origin. Left click. I'm going to move up. Now the, this vertical line should be 14. Notice that the value is highlighted meaning I can type in 14 pressing enter and left click so next I'm gonna double click my middle mouse the zoom extends or better yet zoom out again I'm gonna hold my middle mouse button to pan we are still at the line command and I'm going to drop our second point here, second point here, and left click once more at this end point, but I'm going to hold my left mouse button to create an arc. So I'm still holding my left mouse button, I'm going to release, go back to the and point once more, hold my left mouse button, release, left click here, left click here, left click here. So now we are just initially creating the outline of our profile. Left click here, I'm gonna hold my left mouse button once more to create an arc. Release, going back to the end point, holding our left mouse button once more. Release, and I guess connect our last point to our origin. So it is now a profile. I'm gonna hit escape to disable line, and now we'll apply constraints and dimensions. I'm gonna hit D for dimension. Selecting this horizontal line and our origin, moving to the left, dropping our dimension here. This one should be 24, pressing enter. Next, let's concentrate on this line. I'm going to grab this point, left click and drag this down. I'm going to hit undo once more, left click and a small nudge. I'm going to hit escape, left click anywhere here to deselect this point, left click, going to constraints and selecting horizontal vertical, selecting this horizontal line, I'm going to hit escape, next let's add a tangent constraint on this arc and this line, selecting tangent, left click, selecting this arc and this horizontal line I'm gonna hit escape double click my middle mouse the zoom extends selecting this point and moving this to the right again undo move this zooming in double click my middle mouse left click on the white space or area to deselect zooming out next I'm gonna hit D for dimension selecting this vertical line and this vertical line dropping our dimension here left click keying in 65 pressing enter I'm gonna hit escape I'm gonna select this point and Move this down, so I have selected this line. Next, I'm going to hit D for dimension, selecting this line and this 
horizontal line moving to the right and dropping our dimension here keying in 45 pressing enter dimension tool still active I'm going to select this vertical line and this endpoint dropping our dimension here keying in 60 pressing enter selecting this line and this horizontal line dropping our dimension here keying in 15 pressing enter I'm going to hit escape and I'm going to add a tangent constraint here selecting tangent selecting this horizontal line and this arc hitting escape pressing D for dimension selecting this vertical line and this line dropping our dimension here keying in 45 pressing enter next I'm going to dimension this arc keying in 10 this arc as well dropping the dimension here keying in 15 I'm going to hit escape I'm going to select this line and drag this up left click here to deselect pressing D selecting this vertical line and this point dropping our dimension here keying in 44 pressing enter I'm going to hit escape and let's arrange our dimensions so notice as it highlights in white that's the moment I will perform a left click and drag this down same with 60 placing this down next pressing D once more for dimension selecting this line and this horizontal line left click zoom out pan drop our dimension here keying in 17 pressing enter selecting this horizontal line and this horizontal line dropping our dimension here keying in 8 pressing enter zooming out next I'm going to dimension this arc to 10 pressing enter dimension tool still active selecting this arc and keying in 14 next selecting this vertical line and this center point moving down dropping our dimension here and keying in 5 pressing enter hitting escape moving 60 moving 44 down moving 8 up next I'm gonna grab this center point and move this to the right so this is selected I'm gonna hit D for dimension and select this vertical line moving up dropping our dimension here and keying in 35 and finally selecting this vertical line and the center point dropping our dimension here so notice there's an over constraint I'm gonna hit cancel I'm gonna hit escape and try to move our entities to check if our profile is fully constrained So confirmed, we don't need 50 anymore. So because this is now fully constrained, I can now hit E for extrude. Now we are prompted to select a profile, selecting this profile. I'm going to go to home view, 
left click, direction, I'm going to select symmetric, operation, it's of course new body, and for the thickness, since this is not indicated in the challenge, and it is up to us on what is our preferred thickness. So for me, I'm going to key in 5 and hit OK. So once more, if you'd like to make a certain edits on your sketches, you can go down to your timeline, right click, hit Edit Sketch. So I'm just double checking and it really is fully constrained so congratulations if you have completed this model i'm going to hit stop sketch go to home view and most importantly don't forget to save your file in the cloud so clicking save so for the file name beforehand you should create a folder with your name dash school name so there you will save this file for the file name it should be 06 denoting the month which is June dash your full name dash your school and for the project save this one and AP7T2140932131. So the last digits should be 9321. And hit save. And finally, please do render your work and upload it in the Fusion 360 gallery. And place hashtag monthly challenge and hashtag student expert so once again congratulations for completing this fusion 360 monthly challenge